the Chinese developing team Pengu has done it again. Uh, the team originally came out with the iOS 7.1 jailbreak a while back, uh, and now they've come out with the iOS 8.1 jailbreak. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that, but a few caveats before we begin. One, it is a little buggy, it is an initial release. Uh, it also does not install Cydia automatically, so you have to do that manually. It's not too hard though, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, and also, there's a lot of jailbreak tweaks in Cydia that just don't work. Um, anytime one of these updates happen, everybody has to then update their tweak to be able to work on the new version. So it's a little early really to have a point to jailbreak because a lot of the tweaks are just not gonna work. But if you wanna do it now and just guarantee that you have the jailbreak and then you can wait for the tweaks to be updated, then by all means you can. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is back up the device. So plug your device into your computer, open iTunes, click on the iPhone symbol at the top left and click backup now. Click backup apps and let it do its thing. And once it's all backed up, we're actually going to restore it. So you don't have to do this. You could try to skip this step um, if you're already on 8.1, but it generally works better if you have a clean install of 8.1 and not just updated over the air to 8.1. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick. So plug it into iTunes, click on the iPhone again and click restore iPhone. I already did a backup, so I'm just gonna click don't back up and hit restore and then wait for that. Next are some things we need to do to prepare the iPhone or iPad for the jailbreak. So first is we're gonna go to settings, then iCloud, and then find my iPhone and turn that off. Then we're gonna go to settings, touch ID and passcode, and we're gonna scroll down and turn passcode off. Finally, we're gonna pull up our command center here and turn off Wi-Fi and now we can begin. So click on the link beneath this video on my site to be taken to the Pangu site. Click the download for Windows and save that to your desktop. And we're going to plug the device in via USB to our computer and right click Pangu and hit run as administrator and wait for it to recognize the phone. Then we're going to uncheck this little checkbox here and click the big blue button to begin. Once it's done its thing, you should see the Pengu icon on your iPhone. Next, we're gonna install Cydia. You're gonna click on the link beneath uh, this video on the site to download the Cydia install package and save that to your desktop. And we're gonna download the iProject file and save that to our desktop as well. Next, we need a program to connect to our iPhone to push the files. If you're using Windows, you're gonna download WinSCP by clicking the link here. Or if you're using Mac, you can use Cyberduck. We're gonna click download the installation package and save that to our desktop as well. And we're gonna double click that exe file for WinSCP and go through the normal setup process to install that. Once it installs, you can uncheck open getting started page and hit finished to launch WinSCP. Now on the phone, we're going to turn Wi-Fi back on and you need to make sure that this is the same Wi-Fi network that your computer is also connected to. They're actually going to talk to each other through the Wi-Fi network. Then tap on Pangu, tap on open SSH, tap install, wait for that to install, click okay. And then you're gonna go to settings, Wi-Fi, and click on the I next to the network that you're connected to and save the IP address that you see there. You're then gonna put that IP address into WinSCP for the host name. And then the username is gonna be root, password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and click connect. And when it asks you about a host key, just hit yes. And now in the left panel of the SSH program, we're gonna go up a level or whatever to get to desktop. And we're gonna take our two Cydia packages and drag them over to the root of the iPhone or iPad storage. Do not put them inside any folders in here, just directly on this directory itself. After that's done, we're gonna commands, open terminal, and we're gonna copy this command from the site and paste it into our console, hit execute. If there are errors, don't worry about it. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other command. And this is basically just installing the two packages for us. And again, don't worry about errors. Then on our device, we're going to actually turn it off and turn it back on. Once it's back on, swipe over and you should see Cydia. We're gonna tap that 
and let it prepare the file system like it does. The device will reboot, and then we can tap Cydia again and be presented with Cydia. And there you go, you're jailbroken, um, and you have Cydia. So now you just need to be a little patient and wait for everybody to update their jailbreak tweaks in the Cydia store. When that happens, you can actually check the tweak and it'll say that it works for your version now as opposed to right now it probably says it doesn't. Um, but there you go. So as always guys, thanks for watching.